Welcome back, everybody. Um, today we'll be discussing an NES game that many people have played, that being Dr. Mario. Uh, you might be asking me, why is Kyler reviewing Dr. Mario instead of the games she's promised to review in the past, such as Deltarune, Mario 2, Sonic CD, though, I, I already did review that one, uh, Cave Story. Is he just using this as an excuse to reveal a, do a new Doctor-related character that he's randomly decided to reveal? I, I don't know what you mean by that last bit, but I just wanted to kick back with a, a shorter review of a game that doesn't really have as much content here. Salutations! Who the fuck are you? And why do you look like me? That's because I am you. You see, I am a clone. What? I never cloned myself. That's precisely correct, my friend. You never cloned me, but I cloned you. How can you be the clone and, and the person who cloned me? Did you just clone yourself into existence or something? You know, you're not really smart enough to understand the scientific explanation of how I did it, so I'll spare you the headache. Okay, but like, why are you wearing a lab coat? I thought it looked cool, you know. I also thought it would help uh, your huge, hopefully huge, viewer base differentiate between us. You do have a huge viewer base, right? Yeah, something like that. Wonderful! Now let me guess, this video is sponsored by the VPN of the Nords! No, not, not really. No? Well, what about Raid Shadow Legends? I wouldn't accept the sponsorship from them, even if they asked, so... Okay, um... How about... This video is not sponsored. I'm, I'm just telling you right now. Alright. Dr. Mario is a game released for the NES in 1990. It started out as a generic puzzle game called Virus, but then Nintendo shoehorned Mario in and made millions more than they would have without doing that. They've done this with things like the original Super Mario Kart, which went on to be one of the most n profitable Nintendo franchises of all time. You know, speaking of Mario Kart, isn't it kind of weird that Dr. Mario isn't a character in, that, in, in any of those games? Yeah, actually, that is kind of weird, isn't it? Also, what are you doing with waffles? Wait, wait a minute. You cloned my bird, too? With all the Mario characters in Mario Kart, you'd expect at least one of them to be Dr. Mario. What do you mean, at least? You think there's gonna be, like, two of them? But the closest thing we've gotten is a Dr. Mario-themed item in one of the arcade games. Which... Character-wise, playable character-wise, had the goddamn scrunkly thing from Tamagotchi, but no Dr. Mario. What the fuck has this world come to? I mean, Mario Kart has always had questionable roster decisions. Characters that would fit right in being excluded, and characters that are very weird being included. Anyway, I got way off topic there. Um, let's just get back to Dr. Mario. Enough with this Mario Kart talk. Oh, you're just changing the topic because you're scared that I'm going to beat you in a Mario Kart race, aren't you? Now, a lot of people asked back then, and they still ask today, uh, why is Mario a doctor? Honestly, it's a good question that I can sort of answer, because, you know, given the context of this not originally being a Mario game, it would have been weird to just have Mario throwing pills at viruses. Now, how he acquired his medical license, I cannot answer that because I do not know. You want to know the story of how I got my medical license? Oh, uh, sure. Well, that's too bad because I don't really have a story nor a medical license, so, sorry. What are you? Think of me like, uh, Bill Nye, the science guy. So, are you like a huge climate change activist? Too? Like, you know, because Bill Nye does that kind of stuff nowadays, right? Okay, who the hell do I resemble more? Greta Thunberg or the kind of guy who dumps liquid sewage into Niagara Falls? If you've done that, I wouldn't be surprised. Dr. Mario is a falling blocks puzzle game, similar to Tetris or Columns, but it mostly resembles something like Puyo Puyo. You drop multicolored pills into a bottle to match colors with viruses and you kill all of them to progress to the next stage. 
Simple stuff, really. The game actually gets pretty intense the, the higher you go level-wise, either when you set the difficulty high or work your way up yourself. More viruses fill the bottle, which forces you to strategically maneuver your pills to clear them. I can't say I'm the best at this game, but I do enjoy it a ton. I'm not the only one who thought this, as this game was successful enough to get a port on Super Nintendo with Tetris, a Nintendo 64 game, a WiiWare title, a DSiWare title, a Wii U game with Luigi, a mobile game where Donkey Kong becomes authorized to give me a prostate exam, which I feel a little conflicted on, a version you can play in WarioWare, and a bunch of emulated ports to various systems, like Virtual Console on the Wii U, Wii, and stuff like that. Overall, this game is great! I'd recommend it to anyone who enjoys puzzle games, and... And I'd recommend you get out of my house, Dr. Whatever your name is. You can just call me... Dr. Larkio. Those are my mom's glasses. You should probably give those back to her. And if she asks where you're going, tell her that... Tell her the whole story. You're, you're just a clone. Get out. Get out of my fucking house.